What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am continuing this regular season record predictions with the New York Giants. Uh, only reason that we jump from AFC North to NFC East is because Camel Wolf. Uh, might as well give him the content since he was the one who recommended it. So, uh, I'm not going to really hold you here too much longer. Um, thank you guys for watching. Drop that like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I mean, some of these videos are hitting, some of them aren't. Who really cares? I'm doing this so you guys get something to watch every day. Regardless, um, let's do this. Starting off with uh, Pittsburgh at New York. Uh, Pittsburgh is going to be coming out with like a chip on their shoulder trying to prove something since they didn't make the playoffs last year. And Ben's finally coming back from injury. So I think Pittsburgh is going to be kind of wanting to prove something while Daniel Jones is just still trying to develop and the offense tries to get better and better. And that defense, unfortunately, apart from its D-line, is kind of hopeless at the moment. Thanks to Armed Robbery at DeAndre Baker. Um, going on to the second week, New York is going to Chicago. And, guys, I think Nick Foles is going to command Chicago. And more importantly, I think Chicago is going to be a powerhouse this, is, this season. They were 13-3, and like, what, two or three years ago? I mean, they still have Khalil Mack. They have Akeem Hicks. They have Roquan Smith. I'm pretty sure they still have Danny Trevathan. They have Eddie Jackson. They still have Kyle Fuller. I mean, this defense is still pretty damn stacked, if I cannot, like, recount. So, uh, Chicago. Like, people are sleeping on Chicago, man. Chicago and Arizona. I mean, guess Cleveland, because people still, like, know Cleveland's the second-best offense in the NFL. Like, second-best um, surrounding cast for their quarterback. But um, Chicago and Arizona are two teams that are really slept on. So... Watch out for those two teams coming out and lighting it up. Next week, oh my, I feel so bad for New York. They're going up against San Francisco, Chicago, Pittsburgh. Uh, Philadelphia is a good team. I know I gave them 9-7, and seven, but man, like they easily can be 11 and like 5, just like that. Um, and I think they could, they definitely could be. Again, this is assuming full healthiness, so Saquon Barkley still kicking ass. But San Francisco is basically the better version of the New York offense. Um, minus, obviously, the talent at running back. Even though they have a really good running back group. It's still, like, use your running backs to the greatest ability and then um, do some game managing with your quarterback. I mean, I think Danny Downs is actually better than Jimmy G. Ooh, hot take. But um, he, he needs to develop a little bit more. And then that defense, man, that defense needs to improve. Next, we're going on to number f the week four. Like, these three games are... Unfortunately, kind of be kind of blowouts in my opinion. Um, but week four, going against the Rams, this is where the New York Giants defensive line will come in handy, and they will steal this game from the Los Angeles Rams. Um, kind of crazy to think about it that way, but it is going to be very, very interesting to. I think this game easily, easily could be won by New York, like hands down, could easily be won by New York. Um, they have a really good defensive line, and the Rams have a shitty O-line. And unfortunately, you can't run the ball that way, and then you don't have any time to pass. And the Rams don't have the best wide receiver core, and they don't have the best running back. I the Cam Akers could be great, but yeah, we I don't, I don't know about that one. Um, he didn't really prove that much at Florida State, but he definitely was a monster in high school and has that potential. So next week, we are going to Jerry, Jerry World and... New York going to Jerry World is just unfortunate. Um, Jerry World is almost... It's super hard to beat Dallas there. They're super comfortable. Um, I would think about possibly switching this game at the end of the season because Dallas likes to choke. But um, I kept it the way it was. I just think that New York needs another growth year, especially since they lost their first round pick from two years ago. Next, Washington at New York. I'm giving this game to the Giants. I'm not going to hate on the Giants too much. I actually really like the Giants. I just hate their defense like it's just you can't really win games when your offense is having to bail you out and you have a second year quarterback that's just the bottom line and there could be a sophomore slump from Danny Dimes we saw it from Baker we've seen it like Patrick Mahomes had even like a sophomore slump even though it was like a junior slump when he dropped from 50 something touchdowns down to like 30 you know he obviously wasn't this he's still the man the best quarterback in the NFL but obviously wasn't as good um but yeah, I mean, you. I think the defense is just going to be one that's almost impossible to win games. And Washington is the exact opposite. 
And I think that this is going to be a very low scoring game right here. This game I'll key on with like a score prediction. I think it's going to be like 13 to 7, dude. Like it's going to be low, low scoring. Uh, it, it's going to be kind of really boring to watch. This is a game that I'm probably not going to watch. I might just watch highlights of. It is like I really am not excited for this game. Really good defense uh, versus a pretty good offense. Ver like, And then a shitty offense versus a shitty defense. I think that the offense can kind of like make them bend but don't break more times than Washington's offense can move the chains. So I think they get the upper hand. Here, New York's going on a Thursday night to Philadelphia. It's just, yeah, it's unfortunate. Philadelphia's a powerhouse. I think when, I think they're a top eight team. They're just not, they have a really shitty schedule, and then um, they're not the best regular season team, in my opinion. Regardless, next going to Tampa Bay. Uh, Tampa Bay's going to New York. Um, Monday night game, it's in the middle of November. Uh, Tom Brady's used to being up north, man. I mean, he loses to, to New York a lot, but... He's used to being up in that area. If it were Jameis Winston, I'd give this game to New York um, eight times out of ten. But uh, it, the most superpowered offense in the NFL, hands down. Hands down. Them and Cleveland, are, in my opinion, are the two superpowered offenses in the NFL. Um, you just can't beat that, and their defense is super underrated. So, uh, yeah, I, I really like Tampa. I think I had them winning the division in like my, oh, what do I think is going to happen versus going through this. Which this is interesting, because I had Pittsburgh winning the division, but Baltimore did. Right now, Pittsburgh's not even making the playoffs. That's kind of irritating. Whatever. Um, but yeah, regardless. Superpowered offense. Next, New York's going to Washington. They have a week off. I'm giving this game to New York. I think just New York has a better defense than Washington has an offense. And that's just because New York defensive line is going to put so much pressure on Haskins. And then Washington's D-line D is great, but New York has done a great job bringing Nate Solder and then Andrew Thomas to actually have a really solidified tackle core, and that's what you really need. You need to solidify those edges. And we can see Chase Young possibly destroying Andrew Thomas, but I, I, I have some hope. There's some hope in my heart for Andrew Thomas, okay? He's my favorite tackle in the draft. Uh, Philly is coming with a week's rest going into New York. It's... Again, superpowered offense versus a pretty mediocre defense and then a really pretty solid defense against a pretty good offense. It just kind of doesn't work out that way. Um, next, we got bye week. They're going into Cincy rested. This is a close game here. Um, I like New York. I think this this one's a toss-up right here. They could easily be right now 4-10 uh, and 10, uh, given these other three games, but I think that they could easily be 4-10 four and, four and at this point point uh, in the selection process oh man then they go to seattle is this a sunday night game thank god i don't think they would want no one would want to see this this is just embarrassing i'm sorry guys like i love I, I i don't love new york i just love new york giants without phil sims or eli manning i just hate those two guys um seattle's just mm, they're so good so good then arizona um I guess we're going to talk about both of these the same way. Leave them 13-3, which is pretty sad. I'm, I like feel really bad because I have a lot of faith in this team. Um, realistically, I'd be perfectly fine switching this game right here. And then even switching this game. So I think they could be... I I think it's there's a good possibility they can be 5-11. Five and uh, five and 11. and that's, that's kind of sad for me, like make, making it sound like there's hope for a 5-11 and 11 team. But uh, regardless... You know, it is what it is. Or it is what it is. Um, yeah, no, that's a really bad joke. But regardless, um, two very mobile quarterbacks, extremely powerful offenses, and pretty underrated defenses going up against um, a super pretty solid offense and a shitty defense. Like, this secondary is going to be torn apart by DK Metcalf, DeAndre Hopkins, Christian Kirk, Andy Isabella, Larry Fitzgerald, Tyler Lockett, like, Watch out. <laughs> Just watch out. Next, Cleveland, New York. It's the same situation. Super-powered offense and even better defense against this team. And then, I mean, I'm just going to sound redundant here. Super-powered offense against a shitty defense. And then a pretty damn good defense against um, a pretty good offense. But also you're in Baltimore. In Baltimore, it's just hard to win. This game, I'm highly... Like, I would highly consider flipping this game in this game. Like... Realistically, I'd be perfectly fine clicking this button right here, but 
we made the decision back with the Cleveland, I mean, with the Cincinnati Bengals. We're going to stick with it. Um, but, of course, as we get to the regular season, we'll redo this when we get more injury updates, when we get a better idea of how people are looking in offenses because you never know. Like, Peter Schrager, before the season where Patrick Mahomes went off, was saying, dude, Patrick Mahomes looks like the real deal. So if I knew that, instead of being like, oh, like I don't know what this guy's going to be like, obviously I'm going to give Kansas City more wins. So if Pittsburgh is um, is getting close to the season and they're saying, oh, like for some reason Ben's rhythm is off and he needs some time to get back, he looks like he has some time to get back, this could be an upset game. It's Monday Night Football. This could be an easy upset game here, guys. So... Um, or Bears. What if they have Trubisky in? They could easily just, like, randomly upset the Bears. And then the Dallas Cowboys, they like to choke at the end of the season. Sorry, Campbell Wolf, but that's just what happens. And these games are always close anyways. So, like, it's just, there's a lot of things that can go, like, around. And they can literally lead to this team having a 7-9 and record. But... For now, they have 3-13. and 13. Let me know what you guys think. Um, this is obviously really fun for me to do. Every time I get back onto the computer, I just actually thoroughly enjoy doing this. So thank you guys so much for making this uh, not a waste of my time. And obviously, I do it for myself, but I also do it for you. And thank you again. Hit that subscribe button. We got content coming out every day. Or I got content coming out every day. I like to say we as like a collective group as me, the channel, and myself. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna hold you any longer. Without further ado, I'll see you on the far side. Peace.